everybody. Okay. Um, hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Brit Space. I haven't done a Brit chat in forever, so I figured I would do one because I've had some things on my mind. I am actually literally and figuratively spilling the tea on this video. It, it's gas relief tea, in case y'all wondered. Um, because I know you were wondering. Okay, so the last few months I have been in a funk. Like creatively, just totally unmotivated, totally burned out, and I've just not been able to figure out what the deal is. So I was listening to this amazing podcast. I will link it below. If you aren't following the Goal Digger podcast, you should. Podcaster Jenna Kutcher, she did an amazing podcast about imposter syndrome and it hit home for me. Basically, imposter syndrome is this psychological idea of feeling like you are not deserving of where you are. Um, whether it's um, career-wise or life-wise, but feeling like a complete imposter in your life. Like, finally making it to where you want it to be, and then once you got there, feeling like, I don't belong here, or, you know, I'm completely just full of crap, and people are gonna find out that I'm not supposed to be here. It's totally a head game, it's not reality, and it's what I've been struggling with for a very long time. So, a lot of you have been here from the very beginning. Bless your souls, bless you, you guys are amazing. My degree is in elementary ed, education. I went to school for that, that was what I was all about. Um, and y'all, a lot of you know the history, but for those of you who don't, the channel started with my ex. It was totally something he was into. He wanted to do the YouTube channel. He had started watching vloggers, and I was just kinda like, I don't know what this is, but whatever, I'll be part of it. So anyway, long story short, we ended up doing YouTube for a long time. Speed up to exactly two years ago when my husband of seven years decided that marriage wasn't for him and he was gonna peace out. I was left with the question of what I was going to do. Now, this question wasn't because I don't have skills, I don't have a degree, um, I was just sitting at home twiddling my thumbs. At the time, I was part of this YouTube channel as well, even though he was the one who was editing and doing a lot of that, I was very much so part of it. Um, I was part of the planning process, I was in the videos, I was filming the videos. Um, but that's something that I didn't really take seriously. And we'll come back to that because this is where my truth is. This is where my moment of truth lies. I don't know how else to put it. When crap hit the fan <laughs> and my marriage ended and um, I had to figure out very quickly what I was going to do. I was a stay-at-home mom at the time or work from home mom at the time and I was like, okay, I can go back to teaching but then I wouldn't be home and the kids were going through all this change. And full disclosure, I really didn't want them to have another thing to deal with. You know, they had been used to me being home full time and then like all these other changes were happening. I was just like, that's gonna be catastrophic. So I was like, I need to find some work or a job that I can do where I can still work from home and still be here for them. And I remember sitting at Starbucks for like an entire day, just figuring things out, um, looking at some jobs and just, you know, figuring out my ish. And then it hit me, I was like, just because this guy doesn't want to do YouTube anymore doesn't mean I need to throw away the entire eight year, nine years that I have been part of this. And that's where I got the idea of rebranding and continuing on this journey, which was at the time hilarious. I think I actually said it in the videos of you guys go back and watch when I first took over the channel and everything went down. Maybe I didn't make this clear, but I remember literally saying, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, why am I going through this long story? Well, here's the deal. I think that a lot of times imposter syndrome can sneak into our lives when we have goals and dreams um, and we're kicking butt, but it's that little voice in our head that says, you don't really know what you're doing. What are you doing? And that little voice has crept in my head so much because of the way my career started, the career I'm in now. I. I've always felt like an imposter because I was not the one who originally started the channel and you know, I was learning along the way, I learned how to edit along the way, I learned all the things that I do, I learned on my own. And I've always secretly felt a little insecure about that and it's really, speed up to now has gotten to me to the point where it's made me afraid to create the content I want to, afraid, I want to create. And this is really crazy to be admitting, but I think that I felt like an imposter because I was giving a lot of the credit to someone who didn't deserve the credit. I have taken over this channel and I've been part of this whole process and at the end of the day, I look at myself and I'm like, Brittany, what are you doing? Okay, so something that really stuck out to me from the podcast I listened to was when Jenna said, you don't have to have it all figured out to claim it. I get asked all the time, 
via DMs, messages, you know, I want to do this big thing, like I want to start a blog or I want to do this, but how do I start? You don't have to have it all figured out in order to start. A lot of times it's just starting. Um, the one thing that really was good for me when I started this journey that I've been on is I didn't have time to sit and analyze it. I was like, I need to figure it out now and I need to do it and I need to jump in. And that's what I did. Did I know what I was doing? No, I didn't even know how to edit you guys. When I decided to take over the channel and rebrand, I didn't freaking know how to edit. I didn't know how to edit at all. I had no idea what I was doing. I taught myself how to do it. I would stay up late looking at YouTube videos. Um, it was a lot of hustle. It still is a lot of hustle. When I heard in the podcast where she was talking about how she was embarrassed to even introduce herself as a photographer. She had this huge corporate job that she was kind of leaning on, but when she would introduce herself to people, she'd be like, well, I'm kind of a photographer, but not really. Because she was nervous to say she was a photographer because she didn't know everything about it. Guys, I've literally done that for the last two years. I'm cringing now thinking back to the times I've introduced myself and how I've just like, and this isn't me digging on myself, it's just the honest truth. People ask me what I do, I'm always, I've always kind of scrambled and then like after a while I figured out, okay, I'm gonna say social media, content creator, because I honestly hate the word influencer. I can make a whole nother video about that, it's just my personal opinion. I do not consider myself an influencer, I consider myself a content creator. Anyway, so I finally, after a while, figured out how to say like somewhat what I do, but it still was like this little chagrin of like, oh, I do this, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> and like this apologetic crap, honestly. And that was another thing I loved from this podcast was when she said, if you find a, have a really hard time introducing yourself with the, the current job you're doing that you or your dream job, or maybe you're just getting started, sit down and take a moment to just write down who you are, what you do, um, like with I am statements. So I am a mother, I am a photographer, I am a videographer, I am an editor. These are all the things that I am that I have been afraid to say because I just, I don't even know. Like those, that's what I am. That's what I do, that's my job. And I'm really proud of that. Like if you sat down and said, Brittany, are you proud of what you do? I am, but I've always had this weird like, idea that I'm not supposed to be where I am. And I think part of it is in the beginning, when I decided to go on with the channel, full disclosure, in the beginning it was kind of like a time thing. So it was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna figure out, this is what I'm gonna do for the time being. Um, and I put in my head that it was gonna be six months, just so I could you know, figure things out, get my stuff together. Then once I hit the six month mark and you know I was getting a, a lot of love still from you guys and people were still watching the videos and I was like, okay, this is going pretty well. I still putting out content. Um, one thing I was really afraid of is a lot of the brand partnerships that I had when I was married, I was kind of afraid would just fly out the window. But something shocking happened and turns out when you lose a man and you're by yourself, people actually want to work with you even more. <laughs> so that head thing was totally like wiped clean. Um, thank God a lot of brands still wanted to work with me and partner with me and there were brands that I truly love and like want to work with as well as you guys have seen the videos that I do when I do brand partnerships they're always things that I 100% love and want to share with you guys so why am I sharing all this with you guys this huge ramble fest it's because I know a lot of you are in the same place maybe you want to start a business maybe you've been wanting to start a blog maybe you just want to start an Instagram account but you feel like you're not an expert and you look around and you're like everyone knows what they're doing and I don't know what I'm doing cut that crap out right now I'm letting you know right now just because other people are doing it doesn't mean that there isn't room for one other person. There might be a million people already doing what you're doing, but there's only one of you doing it. And I know that sounds so cliche, but I'm just like, it is the truth. You might not make sense to other people. Other people may not know what you're doing. Think of like 99% of the inventions that we have now. Think about if the people who invented them had listened to all the doubt and the naysayers and all the people that were like, what the heck? They would have given up. I mean, like the inventors of all the things, everyone thought they were crazy. The person that, you know, invented what we have, electricity, cars, all these things. Like everyone, if you research it, thought these people were crazy. They were like, there's no way that's going to work. Um, and thankfully they were smart enough to just keep going. And so that's what I tell myself. Imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. And that is definitely a quote. I did not make that up. I think I've heard that said a million times, but I didn't really understand it until recently. Um, it's easy to sit and do nothing. It's, it's scary to do something. That's scary. But think about where you would be in your life if you didn't do scary things, even if you were forced to. For me, I will admit to, I will say full disclosure, 
Oh, there I go again, full disclosure. I have been forced into scary things a lot of the times because I've always had a very cautious personality. And I think that God has used things to push me in directions that I wouldn't have been pushed in or I wouldn't have pushed myself in on my own. This video is not me saying, ha ha, I have it all figured out. It's more of just a realization um, and also owning the fact of how far I've come. You know, there's things I haven't even celebrated because I was so afraid to say, this is who I am and this is what I do and I'm proud of this. To the point where I've worked with dream brands and I haven't even celebrated. I got a partnership with Ikea. I felt all weird to like, to even be excited. I've always wanted to work with Ikea. Y'all know I love Ikea. And I think it was even made more clear when I went to this event, this awesome event, and I met the mayor of my city. And he asked me what I did, and I and I did pretty good answering. I, I didn't stammer, I was confident, but um, then he asked me for a business card, and those of you who follow me on Instagram have already heard this story. He asked me for a business card, and I didn't have them. And the reason why I didn't have them isn't because I can't get business cards, it's because I think at the end of the day, I never truly seen myself as legitimate in what I do. Whoa, I've never said that out loud. I've never seen myself as legitimate with what I do for work. I've always kind of looked down on it. I've always kind of chagrined. I've always kind of said like, oh, I just kind of fell into this. Instead of being like, Brittany, you are a content creator. You're a kick butt content creator. You do great. You have really creative ideas. Do you know everything? No, but if you don't know something, you'll research it or you'll find someone that does. You are a great encourager. You encourage people, that's kind of your thing, and that's fun. You love connecting with people, that's your thing. You love that. I don't know why I've been afraid to say this for so long, but I feel like this is my calling. I, I spend a lot of time praying and being like, God, is this what you want me to do? And I feel like he's like, Brittany, this is what I want you to do. I've told you this already. I've been telling you this for years. And you are the one who hasn't listened. So. Anyway, anyway, that's my ramble fest. I would love to read more in the comments on what you're struggling with. If you've dealt with imposter syndrome, if you're currently dealing with it. Hi friends, I'm filming a video. And I'm not done. This is also just kind of reality. Hello. Hello. Okay, can you let mommy finish my video please? Yes. Thank you, close the door. Okay you guys, that's all for today's video. I am bringing back the Brit Chat. Shout out to you guys for encouraging me to bring the series back. I will be doing Brit Chats. I will be starting a new food series soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, that's going to be a really fun food uh, series. And I'm also going to be doing vlogs like normal as well. So be sure you're subscribed. If you're not, please subscribe. Turn on notifications. Also remember that my upload days are Mondays and Fridays. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I put updates on all of those platforms as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Bye.